Arsenal is the next LEGO minifigure exclusive from San Diego Comic-Con. Stay tuned as we talk through all the details here on Talk Bricks. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Talk Bricks, where I bring you the latest in LEGO news and reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos, but let's get right to it. Michael here, and I'm so excited to be talking to you guys about the latest news from LEGO and San Diego Comic-Con, which is the DC Comics exclusive minifigure of Arsenal from the TV series Arrow. And here we have the Arsenal minifigure. And as you can see, it captures so many great details. I love the red, dark red hood piece. I like the mask. The mouth is a little bit strange, but I think the mask gives it that really great iconic look. As we move down to the torso, we get a lot of the quintessential Arsenal details. I especially like the straps that are all over the shoulders and the legs and the buckle in the waist. But we also get the stitching that goes up the left and right side of the torso. I really like those details. And obviously he comes equipped with his main accessory, the bow and arrow. And as you can see here, we've got the minifigure in the blister package. It says Arsenal and it has the Comic-Con and DC Comics logos. Lego first announced this in a tweet today that said, first look at DC Comics Comic-Con giveaway of Arrow character, Arsenal. And it links off to that Wall Street Journal article. Some of you may be having a bit of deja vu because the original Green Arrow minifigure was also a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from 2013. Here you can see that package. On the left, we also have the version of the Green Arrow minifigure that we received as part of the Dark Side Invasion Lego set that I previously have reviewed, and I'll put a link down in the description below where you can see that. So you can see that comparing the figures on the left and right, the one on the right is a bit more similar to the one that we're getting for Arsenal, just because it has some of that additional details of the leg printing, as well as the hood. And here we have some stills from the costume designs from the show. And as you can see, we get all of that familiar detail, especially in the image on the right. You can see the buckles and straps that go along the shoulder I mentioned, as well as the stitching that goes up and down the side. So I really do think this is a very accurate portrayal to the one that we see in the show. And as you can see on the left, that bow and arrow piece looks just like the one he's holding. But those are just my thoughts about the figure, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think this Arsenal figure is an accurate portrayal to the one we see in the Arrow show? And let me know what you guys think about the San Diego Comic-Con items being exclusives. Obviously, I'd love to get my hands on a figure like this. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below if you like what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all we've got time for for today. Thanks, and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Don't forget to click on this video to watch the reveal of the San Diego Comic-Con Action Comics number one Superman set. And don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos.